Good morning, children. We are here this morning to talk about another story, and this is one of Jacob's sons. See, as Jacob got older and he got married, we remember he married Rebecca. And Jacob, Rebecca had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Um, Esau. And then Jacob's father's name was Isaac. Isaac's father's name was Abraham, and Sarah was Abraham's wife, and Rebekah was Jacob's wife. Now, remember that? Abraham and Sarah had Isaac. Isaac, let's see, I think it was Isaac married. Let me make sure Rebekah wasn't it. Isaac married Rebekah, right, and then Rebekah had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Well, as Jacob got older, of course, he married, and he had some sons. Now, in Genesis 37, 1, 11, we're learning about Joseph's coat. Joseph was one of Jacob's 12 sons. So, Joseph was the second to the youngest son. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a very special coat of many collars, beautiful collars, kind of like my blouse. It's got all kinds of pretty collars in it, but this one had all kinds of beautiful collars. So Jacob did not give his other sons a special one, a special coat. So, you know, that kind of made them a little jealous, maybe, of their, their brother Joseph, because they probably felt, well, he gets a coat, why don't we? And I know that's how we do. You know, if your brother and sister get something and you don't, or maybe a friend gets something and you don't, you get a little jealous and upset, but we're not supposed to be jealous. You're supposed to be thankful for them getting something that maybe you don't have. They got blessed, you didn't. Um, so down the road, we'll see what happened about them getting a little bit jealous of their brother. Then God sent Joseph important dreams. And Joseph told his brothers about them. Well, you know, their brothers didn't like his dreams. And they were very angry already with Joseph. So they didn't want to believe in any of his dreams or even listen to his dreams. So one day one brother said, When Joseph brings out our food, let's get rid of him. That's not a very nice thing to say, is it? Let's throw him into a pit which means a big hole in the ground is a pit where sometimes you can't get out of it because there's no way to get out of it. Another said, yeah, that's what someone else, one of his brothers said, let's throw him into the pit. Then they had another idea. They decided to sell him to as a slave to some traders. Ooh, that's not good. So. Joseph became a slave to these traders. But in the meantime, God was with Joseph through all of this, and God took care of Joseph. And we'll learn what God did with Joseph through the stories. So always remember God is with us, even in our bad times. And God was with Joseph during these bad times. His brothers weren't very nice to him because they were jealous. And we all get jealous sometimes, and we've got to learn not to get jealous. God does not like us being jealous. That's not what God wants us to do. What we need to do, and my mommy always used to tell me, don't envy anybody who has more than you. In other words, don't be jealous of those who have more than you. Because they were fortunate enough to have that, and we need to be happy for them. And go on about our business. And if we want that for ourselves someday then we have to strive and work hard to get what some of these other people have. You have to work for it. Sometimes it's given to you and sometimes it's not. Sometimes you have to work hard for what you get and what you have in life. So, as I said, God was with Joseph when his brother sold him to us as a slave. So here's what I want you to remember. And I'll show you a picture first. This is Joseph in his pretty collar of coats. And there's some kitty cats playing around Joseph. But there's his daddy, Isaac. We want to remember, in hard times, we know God's with us. So I want you to say this. In hard times, I know God is with me. Say it with me. In hard times, 
I know and know God is with me. Okay? Don't forget that. It's a good little thing to remember. God's always with you. Now, we're going to sing a little song, and it's called Joseph Coats of Many Collars. And it goes, starts out, it's kind of slow. It goes, many collars, many collars. Joseph had a coat of many collars. Now, if you want to act like you're putting a coat on, you know, with your arms, you can do that. And act like it's so pretty. Many collars, many collars. Joseph had a coat of many collars. Then Joseph had a dream. A very special dream. When he was told it to, when he told it to his brothers, they hated him. Joseph had a dream, a very special dream, telling him a royal throne awaited him. Ooh, so this dream about him was something very special. Again, to where his brothers would be very upset with him because they didn't want to believe that he would be in royalty ever because they were already mad at him. And of course, they had to do lots of work and he didn't because he was one of the younger ones. Um, he was the second of the youngest. So he wasn't really the baby. There was still one brother that was younger than him. So let's see what eventually happens in the story. Stay with me this week and you'll learn what happens to Joseph. So let's get ready to sing our song. Okay, here we go. children. I hope you enjoyed that little story and stay tuned this week so we find out some more about Joseph's coat and what happened to Joseph after the slaves took him. So now we learn the next story about how Joseph forgives. Forgiveness is a very important thing and I want you to learn that we always have to forgive people no matter how mean they are to us. I've had to read I've had to really forgive a lot of people that's done me wrong in my lifetime, and you will too. And that's what we have to do. We have to forgive them in order for God to forgive us. So don't forget that. Even your worst enemy, even your bully, whoever out there bullying you, excuse me, pray that God helps change their heart, that they won't be a bully anymore, and they'll see and turn turn their heart to be kind and nice to people and you have to forgive them it's the hardest thing in the world to do sometimes but when you learn to love God and all about God he teaches you forgiveness so we'll learn about forgiveness next time a little bit okay remember say your prayers and pray for our president and pray for all of our first responders that's your police officers your firemen your doctors and nurses, the ambulance drivers, EMS groups, all those people are important and we need to pray for them and their safety. And also pray for those who are sick 
Some people get this virus, some may get through the virus, some don't because they have other complications in their body that takes them away sometimes. Maybe their immune system's really bad or they have heart problems, but whatever it is, just keep praying that they'll be okay and they'll get through this and pray for the families that's lost those who have died from just not the virus, but other things in their life that's caused their life to be shortened. And pray for those of the lost souls, the ones in the world who don't know God. We gotta pray that God puts someone in their place and in their little space and talks to them. Just put them in their life, Lord, and just pray that they accept Jesus because without him, we won't be heaven bound. And we all wanna go to heaven. We should. It's a beautiful place from what the Bible tells us. So anyway, y'all have a great day. And Miss Linda loves you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.